Um, I'd like to talk more about uh, uh, something that I talked about in a past video, relatively recent one, I think. So, you know, within the past two days. Um, the whole idea of video games emulating life um, and life emulating that kind of a existence, that kind of a, I mean, our lives become what uh, monotony, they become the definition of uh, dull, bland, and they're really not what life is. Uh, not in the real sense, not in the, not in the way that people used to live. And more and more as we go into the future, um, the kinds of lives that we have will become outdated and should very well become outdated. The whole idea of having a job and wasting your life I mean, that's pretty much what we do. We have one thing that we do, and then we have these little bits and pieces where we have a personal life, and then we die. I mean, does that sound like what what we should what, what we were put here for? And and furthermore, for the benefit or for the profit of a few select corporations, ultimately. I, um, that's not uh, acceptable. What I mean when I say we have, we live in an extraordinarily sophisticated video game like structure, I mean that we all have the ability to do what people do in these RPG games like. I'm going to say Fable 2 is probably one of the better ones that exists presently. But, of course, it's pale in comparison to the... And especially since you have to use a controller and silly shit like that. With this... With this body, the controller... The controller is this body, for Christ's sake. Is this brain that controls... I mean, so... It's so much better than a video game, and yet people will pay to play this this game that pales in comparison to their own existence simply because it gives them the ability to do what they otherwise would be incapable of. Um, so what does that tell us? I think this this is something that needs to be you know delved into. Does that say, uh, should not the society or the government or whatever cultivate that which humanity is, in, is naturally desirous of? Shouldn't it cultivate, like for instance I've talked about uh, putting martial arts in schools rather than and, or, or combine it with PE, physical education. I mean, really, physical education is teaching the kids about the anatomy or about the, the way to become, uh, way to exercise and shit like that. But with martial arts, you'd be doing that and teaching them how to fight. And this would be uh, essential to a, a society that, that can actually protect itself, especially if. And I think this should be done if the production of firearms is made illegal. Not only illegal, but it would be uh, you would be put in prison if you produced a gun or anything above the lethality of a handgun, meaning you know rockets and shit like that. That would be an illegal thing, and you'd be put away or killed depending upon what you did with the weapon. If you just created it and did nothing with it, you could be put away. But if you killed people with it, then obviously you'd be put away for life. Um, or killed. 
presumably be presumably by the people that you were trying to kill in the first place because an aspect of the um, government that I've uh, the, the, the freedom that I've uh, kind of I think would be a good thing would be uh, everybody would be uh, pretty much required to have some kind of a melee weapon um, it sounds ridiculous but the reality is um, the founding fathers realized that it was necessary for a lot of, for everybody to have the right to have to bear arms. So, I think the right to melee weapons rather than guns would be equivalent to that. And then making the pr production of firearms illegal would be uh, the next best the next best thing, and the elimination of things that are above that lethality. Um, unless, of course, we're using nuclear nuclear missiles or something like that for planetary pro, uh, protection against things like meteorites and uh, satellite debris and all that kind of stuff. That would be something that's, but that's not a weapon. That's a tool for, that's a defensive mechanism, if anything. So, um, but at the same time, producing an atomic, an atomic missile on your own would be something that you would be obviously obviously you would be put away for I mean that's just uh, ridiculous if somebody's on their own doing that kind of shit um, and how would you know about it and all that kind of stuff well um, how would you keep that secret is what I'm gonna ask how would you keep that secret so um, I guess uh, I guess that's uh, that's my point on that I think that that's a good idea. Putting martial arts in the schools and then training, so training them to use the melee weapons in education, in the education system, and then, and then having, uh, because then that would make it more like video games. You see, that would make it more like video games. We'd be able to have this kind of a thing, and then having maybe uh, matches or this or that kind of stuff would be um, a good way. To, or, or even, you know, people going out and hunting animals with, melee, with the melee weapons that they have. or And, of course, you could use crossbows or things like that because those things are not firearms. So that would be a totally different story. Bows and, and shit like that. And then, of course, if there were to be some kind of war, the war would be completely different. Uh, people would not want to go to war so, so much if they had to use melee weapons and shit like that. So... It would make the society more secure by giving it that air of possible chaos. And not only that, but the people would be able to protect their own rights more effectively if they had melee weapons and were trained in the use of melee weapons. It would make the whole government way less uh, inclined to corruption in general. All right. Well, let me hear what you think on that. Um, I think it's a good idea. So, fuck you. Fuck you. Check out my hair. Isn't that cool? No? Alright. Alright. I don't really care. Peace out.